Hello, community. It is said that there are three things that you're not supposed to discuss. Race, government, meaning politics, policy of this country and religion. And we want to know why aren't we supposed to have a conversation about race when wherever we turn, there, there seems to be some type of racism or um, anti-black sentiment. Um, we're not supposed to talk about it because most people feel uncomfortable and shame of the things that they've done to a lot of people, especially black people. Um, when you have to look in the mirror or you think about the things that your forefathers have done and the hatred that you feel and for no reason, and that's not even counting the, the groups that actually come out straightforward and tell you that they hate your guts, <laughs> you know. Um, but I kind of understand a little bit about that now that I've been studying my history, uh, when you are the root of civilization, and actually I call it your mother and the fathers, the grandmothers and the grandfathers of this earthly civilization, I ask myself, how can someone treat the person that was uh, actually responsible for them being here? And then I look at it and I can see that we have been all conditioned. Um, you know, as long as we can uh, not pay attention to the people who are actually running this country, the richer they get, you know, I mean, they may have some uh, racist ideas, but they're worrying about money, okay? And the, the way that they can get money is to control policies and politics, government officials, uh, miseducate, um, have control of the media, and keep up strife between blacks and blacks, blacks and whites, and every other people on this earth. Um, while they stay above that and they orchestrate that and we don't see it and so they're not uh, really looking for us to discuss this problem because as long as we stay divided you know they prosper um, there's only one race anyway there's the human race we have a lot of, uh, you know, people from white to dark brown, I and mean, there's no black really, but you can say uh, all of us are Africans, and that very statement right there evokes fear and hatred, you know, of that self and other people. Um, government how is it that the people we elect to take care of us keep doing the same thing to us and we say it's okay you know early in this country's existence they had to rise up against uh british rule and they wanted prosperity and freedom and everything else that a human being should have. And they had to fight to get it. But then as soon as that 
they had a chance to actually form uh, some kind of government, one of the first things that they did was exclude human beings, black human beings, who they were gonna turn into slaves and had already done so for cheap labor and for wealth accumulation. After this wealth accumulation, they had to figure a way that they could keep it and, and have uh, free labor or a cheap labor force. And this is where policy comes in, okay? My only, my only question sometimes is how long do people let things go on? I mean, you know, you should be sick and tired of being sick and tired. Um, you know, today we honor athletes, you know, entertainers, you know, some pastors and, and, and so, such when those are not our leaders, they provide entertainment. And what does that say about us? Instead of worrying about our um, position in this world and, uh, you know, current events and things, we want to be entertained. And that's why we look to those people for, for leadership. You know, those are the wrong type of people to lead because most of them are selfish people. We have black billionaires that could care less about the, uh, you know, black community as a whole, okay? And they will tell it to you, okay? Most people, once they do get a little wealth, you know, they want to move out of the community and, and they're not even thinking about improving the community or educating those that are uneducated. But miseducation has been one of the main factors that has our minds the way they are now. You can see no change on most black folks, but you can bet their minds are changed. And you know, we can blame that sort of on uh, the way that they came up, you know, the things that they were taught, the schools you sent them to. And then you ask yourself, well, why would the people try to teach you how to be free when they need you to be a slave? Well, you know, slavery hasn't actually gone anywhere, I mean, Basically, it's a different type of slavery. Institutional racism, as you know, you know, in the United States and in several other countries are nothing but law, large plantations, okay? And, you know, who do we look to control uh, the masses of black folks? Well, the black folks mostly are uh, slave catchers, you know, uh, most people don't realize is that where the police come from, okay? You know, they weren't here to protect individual people. They were here to protect property, you know? Um, and I won't go in fur any further with that, but just the fact that human beings were viewed as property at one time should tell you a lot, you know? Another thing that they say we shouldn't discuss is the religion. Well, I tell you, religion has been used against black folks and has been used as a weapon. It's also been used as a motivation for racism and to tell a people that they were destined to be the leaders of a country and you were destined to be a slave. And you may still even feel like that, but you, you study your history and 
you get to know uh, yourself better. You know, I mean, really get to know yourself and you'll find out that the God that you've been looking for has been within you all the time. Um, you are the God to a certain extent. And you don't need any kind of mediator between you and your God. What were Africans and people doing before the Bible came along? Okay, they were building great civilizations and they had more spirituality than the average person today. And you can say they worship trees, this, that, and other, but they worship things that they could see. Okay? Um, today, you cannot see the spirit within yourself, but you can feel it. But when somebody gives you a book and tells you that this is your God, and this this is what you live your life by, and they don't even live their life by that book. They gave it to you so that they could take your land, your women, you know, and your sons, and have them work for them for free. Why you call on something that you can't even see to help you. Well, we, we have to understand that if God lives in us, we have to help ourselves. And we have to put down some of the foolishness. Now, don't take me wrong. I am not talking about spirituality, but a lot of people have been seeing some of our supposedly most beloved spiritual leaders, well, religious leaders, not spiritual, because there's, there's nothing spiritual about some of the things that some of our people have done, but they've become millionaires, okay? You spend your last money, you know, putting tithes in church a lot of times and, and making them millionaires, and they won't even help you sometime pay your light bill. You, you give it to them. One of the things that you have to look at is that is a business to a lot of people, okay? And they prey on people. When I was coming up, a pastor, a reverend, he had a job. Church, church is what he did after his job and on Saturdays and Sundays, okay? But now, they don't have to work, you know, they work on you and, and you make them millionaires. Um, somebody told me that, you know, people want to see drama, you know, they want to be entertained, you know, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm not here for uh, the entertainment uh, of anybody. I'm, I'm just trying my best to share some views that I have and, and hopefully some wisdom that may, you may glean from that. Um, we, we should not be actually having all this fun when we're in the predicament that we are in. Um, you should have our minds on something more than that. Um, we should take our rightful place in this, in this society and start acting like the people that we were created to be. If you know you are the root of civilization, then it would seem like you would be in a, a leading uh, position rather than a, a subservient position. Um, I, I won't go into anything further than this. They keep us divided, you know, so that we can be a weak people. But I see a parallel. This is the same thing they did in Africa. You know, they took a whole continent and they started carving it up and giving it to European powers. Those people got rich and now they don't want to leave. In fact, they want to recolonize Africa and we, 
are in the same position here in America of what they're doing to us. Actually, we have, they say we have an immigration problem. Well, you got to understand that, you know, America was formed by taking land from uh, Indians or uh, indigenous people, as they call it, Mexico, and, uh, you know, the fact is, a lot of those people are returning to their their land that they held several uh, centuries ago, uh, uh, you know, and the real uh, immigrants are the Europeans that came here, but they can come here for a day and feel right at home and call itself an American, and yet we have been here you know, hundreds, maybe thousands of years, you know, and we are still looked at as immigrants treated as second class citizens. And you know, you better not talk about, you know, improving our economic worth, you know, and, and uh, to, to, to give us reparations. I, I said, you owe us more money, you know, than reparations because you stole from the, the Freedmen's uh, Bank all that money that you took from them. You paid reparations to everybody but us. And the reason why you do it is because you want to keep us in one of these downtrodden places, you know, in our minds, you know, physically and spiritually. Because you know, even though you say we are not a, a, a great people, we are. Because nobody could have went through the things that we went through and still be here. But we have to act like it. And we have to get up off our behinds and stop hating other black people. Why are you not hating the person that did you harm? I'm not here to hate anyone because it takes too much out of you to hate, okay? But I'm not forgetting anything and I'm not, I'm not gonna be walking around blind, you know, to the things that I see every day and the treatment that I might uh, receive. This is just uh, another heartfelt comment from Ghost Rider 615. I'll see you later.